Well, here's one that'll ruffle a few feathers. <laughs> Is the monarchy now obsolete? Well, look, we've all cringed while William and Kate have been humiliated by their hosts in various uh, Caribbean countries on their current tour. The, the Republican movement spreading throughout the Commonwealth is just one more sign of the difficulty the British monarchy is facing these days. Uh, does this demonstrate the institution has finally shown itself to be obsolete, or is this just another storm that will soon blow over? I look at both sides. Uh, first of all, those who say, yes, it is, the, the monarchy is obsolete. Well, the fact is that we're presently in an era where there is widespread challenging of authority everywhere. Uh, powerful movie moguls are being imprisoned for imposing their dastardly wishes on budding actresses. <laughs> Pedophile rings are being exposed and members brought to book in the courts. Uh, police officers are being prosecuted and, and occasionally jailed for racial crimes. Um, statues of men connected to the slave trade are being removed or destroyed. Priests are going to jail for raping young men. And uh, seemingly untouchable Russian billionaires are being hounded out of Britain. Well, look, the growing animosity toward the monarchy is just one more example of this tidal wave of pushback against individuals and institutions that have unjustly had their way for too long. The long-suffering British public is getting fed up with the bad behavior of the royal family, what with Prince Harry's repudiation of his father and the institution he personifies. Uh, Prince Andrew, of course, can't forget about Prince Andrew. Prince Andrew's uh, sexual escapades and his inability to be truthful about them, uh, Prince Edward's ongoing uselessness, and even Prince Charles' dodgy dealings with rich Arabs. This, this kind of behavior is now being openly challenged, and by the way, it's there for all to see, thank goodness for the internet. Uh, it's being openly challenged with the institution which has enabled it. And, oh dear, much of the family, royal family's wealth has come from its participation in the slave trade years ago. Queen Elizabeth I provided uh, a slaver, a famous slaver, John Haw Hawkins, with one of her own ships, quote, specifically for the purpose of capturing Africans on the West African coast, end quote. That's according to a document in the, uh, uh, the National Archives here in the UK. Uh, later royals were also major players in the slave trade. All this is now an ugly stain in their history, and their, their present wealth is built on it. Apology uh, would be appropriate, but this has never been forthcoming. Of course, the government would have forbidden that on the current royal tour, lest the door be open to claims for reparations. Oh, dear. Well, also, they live in unimaginable luxury at a, at a time when the nation is in serious uh, financial straits, a situation of which they seem blissfully unaware. Um, their very existence uh, enshrines the notion that I am better, I am superior to you because of who my parents were. It institutionalizes the class divide in an era where titles just mean less and less. Class differences often cause trouble uh, among uh, different groups. Uh, you read about it every day in the newspaper, and they're fundamentally undemocratic. The fact is that the monarchy has no discernible role in the governance of the nation and is a failed exemplar of right and uh, proper behavior. It is thus a pointless entity. It, it deserves uh, neither our financial support nor our fealty. Well, not everybody agrees with this. Uh, some would say, no, it isn't obsolete. Uh, they would say things like the following. Uh, the, the monarchy now is no more obsolete than it was at the time of its restoration in 1660, when it was largely stripped of any real governing power. It, it performs the same wonderful role of symbolically representing a great nation as it always has. 
Uh, Britain wouldn't be Britain without them. They work hard supporting the work of uh, worthy institutions and organizations throughout the British Isles and in other parts of the world with uh, friendly connections to Britain. Uh, they're out there almost every day. Can't fault them for that. Uh, and the monarchy represents continuity in government and is there to ensure orderly transition of power in government, especially at a time of great social and political upheaval. Uh, they are just essential for the uh, kingdom to continue uh, with a smooth political process. It does the job expected of it. Well, uh, what's my take after uh, considering all of the arguments above? Uh, the royal family, uh, embodying the monarchy, they've had a good run. Uh, it's astounding that they have kept this position for this long solely by virtue of birthright. They have managed to keep the money, which must be their overriding goal, and have even managed to escape any form of serious punishment over the years since the execution of Charles I. But since they clearly provide little value for quite a large cost, it's time for them to go. Uh, Kate and Wills, with their demonstrable middle-class values, they must be coming to the same conclusion. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if they decided to terminate the entire institution when he becomes king. He should do so. It really is a new era. Well, I'm sure there will be many of those of you who adamantly disagree, but some will probably agree as well. So if you liked it, please do the usual. Give me a like, subscribe, comment, uh, notify, and so forth. And I'll see you at the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.